Cardiff University has a great strength in neuroscience and mental health and the appointment of Professor Eve Bard means that we're going to be absolutely at the forefront of this research. So we're really delighted that we're able to attract somebody of his stature to come and work with us here at Cardiff. Uh, Eve is really one of the foremost neurobiologists internationally uh, who is at work today. Uh, Eve discovered brain-derived neurotrophic factor a momentous discovery because this secreted protein is essential for survival of nerve cells in the brain and for the whole normal development of the brain. And his recent work has given many pointers to the importance of this factor and deficiencies in this factor and its regulation for many important disease processes. So to have captured uh, this person to come here to Cardiff is really a fantastic thing and has enormous prospects for future excellent work in the School of Biosciences. Well, Sir Cumley is a really visionary programme by the Welsh Government to attract the best scientists in the world to Wales. And we at Cardiff are absolutely delighted that we have been able to make the first appointment in the Sir Cumley initiative. To attract somebody of the stature of uh, Professor Eve Bard is a real coup for us and it's a real coup for Wales and it's an absolute vindication of the project that the Welsh Government has initiated in this area. I think it's very significant because it, it's based on our science strategy about attracting stars into Wales which was established by the former Chief Scientific Officer John Harries so I think as a government we're internally grateful. It brings expertise that he's got in his field and he brings it to a department that is also world renowned for the work it's doing in those areas. What is specially attractive in this program is its sheer size. It will allow me not only to continue doing research more or less along the lines we started in Basel, but also to appoint new and, rec and talented scientists. So the idea is to recruit up to three highly talented young scientists who will be able to work independently in Cardiff. And this is an unusual set of circumstances, which is why when I heard about this possibility, I accepted it essentially immediately. There is a very interesting and remarkably successful scientific environment at Cardiff University. I have known many people at Cardiff University in the past and so that uh, the start will be greatly facilitated by the excellence of this science in Cardiff. The kind of projects we'll be following in, in Cardiff will be centered increasingly in trying to understand the role of this growth factor in various conditions. One of them which I find particularly intriguing is the role in depression. Many colleagues have found that for reasons which we would try to understand better, the level of this protein are decreasing depression. And in those cases of depression that can be treated by antidepressant, which as everybody knows doesn't work all the time, the levels of this growth factor are restored. And why this should be so is something nobody understands and we'll try to understand that much better when in Cardiff. Our direction of travel is to become one of the top 100 universities in the world and the appointment of Professor Eve Bard is a, a really key step to achieving that. We already have uh, a good number of, of world leading uh, research scientists in this university and the addition of somebody of the stature of Professor Bard shows that we really are on track to, to get into the top 100. <laughs> 